Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, dear students. How are you? I hope you'd be fine. This is Think to Syllabus Mathematics, book one. Today we are going to do a few questions related to chapter number 12. We have already completed a few questions earlier. Today we are going to do intermediate level questions in which we are provided with different figures where we have to figure out that what area do we have to find. So as you can see, here is a triangle ABC given where AB is equals to 20 meters and BC is equals to 21 meters. And it's a, it's a right angle triangle. As you can see that at point B, there is a right angle triangle. But in this question, it says find the area of the shaded region. That is the greenish part. We have to find the area of the greenish part. We don't need the area of the unshaded part. That is the triangle ADE. For these type of questions where there is a whole shape that is split into some shaded and some unshaded part, and you have to find out the area of only shaded part. In this case, what you do, you'll have to find out the area of the whole shape. So first we are going to find out the area of the triangle ABC. And for this, we have to remember the area, the formula for finding the area of a triangle is half into base into height, right? This is how we have to write down the formula first. And then since it's a right angle triangle and in a right angle triangle, we have already discussed that the two adjacent sides, which makes a right angle triangle, which are perpendicular to each other. So in this case, AB side AB is perpendicular to BC. Hence, AB and BC would be base and high score, height correspondingly. So we'll write it as half into base is equals to AB. Height is equals to BC, where AB is given as 20 meters and BC is given as 21 meters. So uh, generally uh, what students do, they multiply first and then they simplify. But what I prefer, I prefer simplifying first and then multiply. So since I can see that 2 and 20 can cut each other, so 2 ones are 2, 2 tens are 20. And then I'm left with 21 into 10, which is 210. So my area to the whole triangle ABC is equal to 210 meter square, right? But since we have to find out the area of the shaded part only, so it means we have to find out the area of the unshaded part and cut it short. That is, we have to remove the area of the unshaded part. So for this, what are we going to do? We will simply find the area of the unshaded part, which is again a triangle. So I'm going to write area of unshaded triangle, which is ADE. And I'm going to find out its area the same way. And it's again a right angle triangle. So I'm going to write half into base into height where my base and height are again perpendicular to each other. Base is AD and height is DE. So what am I going to write? I'm going to write half into 10 into 10.5. These are very important things that figuring out that which side do we have to take. So half into 10 means we will multiply. We will divide 2 with 10, we'll get 5. And then we will multiply 10.5 with 5. So the answer to this is 52.5 meters square. It means the area of the triangle ADE, which is unshaded part, is 52.5 meters square. So the area of the shaded part would be simple. That is from the whole figure, what are we going to do? We will simply subtract the area of ADE from the area of ABC to find the area of the shaded part. So the area of shaded triangle, oh, not shaded triangle. The shaded part is not a triangle. Otherwise, we would have found its area in the first instance. But it's not a triangle. We cannot find its uh, area until we are provided with all its dimensions. So uh, to find the area of the shaded part, what are we going to do? We will simply subtract the area of the triangle ABC, which is 210, with 52.5. So the final answer would be 157.5 centimeters square. This is how we generally find out the areas of the shaded part. And I guess you people have done these type of questions in grade five as well. So these are just the advanced level of those questions which, which you have already done there.
Next, we have question number seven, where they say in the diagram, AC is equal to 20 centimeter. Again, we have been provided with a triangle AD, ADC, where AC is given as 20 centimeters. So if we take AC as the base, its corresponding height would be DB. First, you have to figure out that what is the corresponding height for any of the sides given. So since this is the perpendicular line dropped from the opposite side D, so this would be the base for the side AC. So first of all, write down here. <coughs> for side AC as base, BD is the height. Right? Similarly, for side DC as base, AE is the height. But for the third side, that is AD, height is not given. If it would have been given, it would be like this. But it's not given, so we are not going to do anything with that. Now they're saying that AC is equal to 20 centimeters, CD is equal to 22 centimeters, the two bases. And then AE is equal to 16 centimeters, which is the height of uh, the base AC, right? AE is perpendicular to CD. They are not telling us the length of AE, which is the height of CD. And BD is perpendicular to AC. That's what we have already been figured it out. Now we have to find out the length of BD. BD, that is the height of a, C. So in this type of question where one base and its corresponding height is given and the other base and its corresponding height are given such that one of the dimension is given and the other one is missing. In this type of question, what we have to do, we have to find out the area taking the base and the corresponding heights given. And after finding the area, we have to use the area to find out the missing dimension for any of the other base or the height. Okay, so for this, we have to take the base and the height that both are given. So if we look at CD, which is this base, this is the base, 22 centimeters, the corresponding height of 16 centimeters is given. So we will take, we will find the area of triangle a, D, E by taking half into base into height. So which base are we going to take? We will take base C, D and the corresponding height A, E. I'm writing the letters. So to make sure that you understand that what dimensions are we taking here. So CD is equal to 22 and AE is equal to 16. So what are we going to do? In the first instance, I'm going to cut two with 22. I'm left with 11 into 16. And when we will multiply 11 with 16, we will get the answer as 176 centimeter square. Here we have been given the dimensions as uh, the unit centimeter. So the area would come in centimeter square. This is for the triangle. Now, after finding the area of the whole triangle, since we have to find out the height of AC, we will use this particular area, use this particular formula, but this time we are going to use it to find out the height. So we will write it as half into base into height. Since the area is given, so we are going to take this area of 176 and substitute it over here, okay, in place of area. Then we have is equals to half into base. This time we are going to take base as AC and height as DB or BD because it is required in the question. We have to find out the length of BD. So how are we going to find it out? We will simply substitute the values that is of AC, which is 20 centimeters. Then I'm going to simplify them over here. Since I can simplify them, it becomes 10 BD. Then 176 is equals to 10 BD. What am I going to do next? I'm going to make BD the subject like this. Like I'm going to write 10 BD on the left-hand side and 176 on the right-hand side. Then since 10 is multiplied with BD, 
on left hand side so we'll divide it on the right hand side and it becomes 176 upon 10 so your final answer would be 17.6 because when we divide a number with 10 decimal will move one place backwards so it would be 17.6 centimeters since we are finding the length so its unit would be centimeters as the other units Now, the next question is very interesting. In the figure, AD is given, DP is given, BR is given. And if P is directly above R, that is P and R is a straight line that divides uh, the shape PQRS into two triangles. As you can see that PR is a straight line. So here, this shape would be split into two triangles, one PQR and the other PSR, okay? So if P is directly above R, find the area of the shaded region. Since the shaded region has been split into two different triangles, so what just we have to find out, we will just take this PR as the base for both the triangles. Then we will find their heights. And then done, we will simply put their formulas, we'll use their formulas, that is the area of the two triangles, and then just sum them up. So in this case, we are going to write it like, given that AD is equals to 23 meters, DP is equals to seven meters, and BR is equals to 13.5 meters. Also, given that PR is a straight line, such that it, that is, PR splits the quadrilateral. Quadrilateral means a four sided figure. PQRS into two triangles. The names of the triangles are PQR and PRS. So to find out the area of the shaded part, we just have to find out the areas of the two triangles. So first we are going to find out the area of triangle PQR. For this, we are going to take the base as PR and its corresponding height as QO. Let's take it as QT. Okay. So, how to find out that what is the length from Q to T? So, if you look above, you will find that the length of DP is parallel to QT and the parallel lines are equal in nature. So DP is equals to QT. So what are we going to do? In place of PR, we are going to write 23, which is parallel to AD. So it would be 23 and QT would be 7. So in this case, I'll simply multiply 23 with 7, which is 161. And then I divide it by so my final answer would be 80.5 meters square. So this would be the area of PQR. And similarly, we are going to find the area of triangle PRS the same way, half into base into height. So in this case, the base would be the same, that is PR, but the height would be, let's say, SW. 
and SW is parallel to RB, which is given as 13.5 meters. So this would be half into PR is equal to 23 multiplied by 13.5. So we will multiply 23 by 13.5. The answer to this would be 310.5. And then we will divide it by 2 as well. So the final answer would be 155. 0.25 meter square. After finding the areas of the two triangles, we just have to sum them up to find out the total area of the shaded part since the total shaded part belongs to these two triangles. That's it. So we can say area of shaded part is equals to the area of PQR, which is 80.5, and the area of PRS, which is 155.25. So the final answer would be 235.75 meter square. That's it. This is how we have to solve these type of questions. For now, we have completed till question embedded and Charlie, we are going to solve a few more questions in the next video. Until then, take care. Do subscribe to my channel. Allah.